Robert Lucas Jr. was born in 1937 in Yakima, Washington. His parents were admirers of President Roosevelt and the New Deal. Since most of his relatives and neighbors were Republicans, they were self-conscious in their liberalism. Lucas had to grow up defending his family's liberal values. After World War II, his father found a job as a welder at a refrigeration company. After climbing up the corporate ladder, he eventually became president. Though he had no college degree or training, he learned all that he needed from handbooks and experience. As the young Robert took calculus in high school, he helped his father work out refrigeration design problems. This was his first experience in applying mathematics. He originally wanted to major in engineering, but he got a scholarship to the University of Chicago, a school that did not offer engineering courses. Instead, he took courses in math, science, and history. After receiving his degree in history, Robert went to grad school at Berkeley, where he fell in love with economics. He returned to Chicago to learn more about economics. Back in Chicago, he read the economic treatises of Paul Samuelson and Milton Friedman. He also read Feller's textbook on analysis, a hardcore jungle of incredibly difficult math, just for the pleasure of the author's company. After receiving his Ph.D. in Chicago, he became a professor at the Carnegie Institute of Technology. He became involved in several collaborations that influenced his thinking for the rest of his career. Lucas married Rita Cohen and had two sons, Stephen and Joseph Lucas. They remained married for 29 years but got divorced in 1988. In their divorce paper, they agreed that if Robert won the Nobel Prize within the next seven years, Rita would receive half of the prize money. Amusingly enough, Robert Lucas then went on to win the Nobel Prize exactly seven years later in 1995, and Rita was awarded her half million dollars. Robert Lucas's major contribution to economics was the theory of rational expectations. The theory stated that individuals' expectations of the future directly change large-scale outcomes. His theory was a rebuke to the older idea of adaptive expectations, where individuals made decisions solely on historical trends. Rational expectations took into account human intelligence. It assumed that individuals take all available information and use it to draw logical conclusions on outcomes rather than simply looking at past data. With the theory, Lucas showed that macroeconomic models could not be built without micro foundations to support them. Since individual expectations are the root cause of decisions, any macroeconomic theory necessarily requires a micro basis. This argument culminated in the Lucas critique. It declared that one could not predict the effect of a large-scale policy experiment based on aggregate historical data. One needed to model the small-scale parameters of individual behavior. In a simple example of this critique, we note that Fort Knox has never been robbed in its history. According to the older theory of adaptive expectations, Fort Knox's guards are unnecessary. Because the fort had not been a target of theft in the past, the guards served no useful purpose. But this is obviously not true. Taking into account the Lucas critique, we see that the guards are necessary because the safety of Fort Knox depends on the presence of the guards. Historical data cannot show the effect of removing the guards, but rational expectations can. The rationale that guards deter individuals from theft is the micro-foundation that is necessary to build such a macroeconomic theory. In a more relevant example, historical trends show an inverse correlation between inflation and unemployment, known as the Phillips curve. This does not mean that keeping inflation artificially high will reduce unemployment. Companies who are run by rational individuals would adjust their employment rates to compensate for the change in inflation. Without taking rational expectations into account with this policy, the historical trends would break down. Lucas's work put the final nail in the coffin to the belief that there was a long-term trade-off between unemployment and inflation for the government to exploit. Lucas's work forced economists to provide a microeconomic basis for their macroeconomic theories. Now economists could reformulate their old ideas in the language of economics. Modern economists rely on the theory of rational expectations when developing macroeconomic theories. Robert Lucas was born in Blenheim Palace, Oxfordshire. He was the son of Lord and Lady Robert Lucas. His parents were well off financially.